in 2270 on Stardate 5373.4, Captain James Kirk and Science Officer Spock journeyed through the Guardian of Forever Tide portal to study Orion's past. This led to a temporal anomaly that spawned an alternate timeline where Spock died on Vulcan at the age of seven. In this reality, it was Andorian Starfleet Officer Thalen that became first officer of the USS Enterprise under Kirk's command instead of Mr. Spock. On that Enterprise, it is Commander Thalen that sometimes encounters crew members who need help with their logic. Doctor, we really appreciate your dropping off these tapes with our updated diet recommendations. Not that we'll be changing our eating habits anytime soon. It's nothing. I was in the area and I just figured I'd deliver them myself. Thank you, Doctor. Doctor? Commander? Erickson, did you hear? Another Tangelo monastic shrine was firebombed on Dentresi 3. Now, the Azure party leaders are demanding that anyone who even talks about temple desecration be imprisoned. Well, they feel that all blasphemous actions have to stop, and talking about those desecrations uh, uh, may lead to more. Why is the Azure party so concerned? Their temples have never been touched. Not a single verified case of a Tangelo party member desecrating an Azure temple has ever occurred. Yet the Azures constantly decry the desecration of their spiritualist temples, saying that the Tangelos are always doing it. Hey, wasn't that Azure temple at Smasi Jolette doused with caustic isochlorite? It was widely reported. That was proven to be an obvious hoax. There are, however, many verified cases of Azure mobs desecrating Tangelo monastic shrines. One just last week. There's a wealth of photographic evidence that it occurs, routinely. The Azures deny all that and feel that transmitting disinformation about so-called evidence against them is harmful to planetary peace. But in doing so, open discussion of the facts and evidence of who is actually desecrating temples is now prevented. How will the actual problems get solved? Desecration is so bad on Dentrassi 3 that the Azure party needed to limit speech about sacrilegious events. I mean, what if discussing desecration incites violence against the Azure people? Isn't that worth preventing? Well, maybe. Excuse me, officers. I happen to overhear your discussion. Yes, Commander? The reasoning you are exhibiting, Mr. Erickson, is not logical. As a matter of fact, you are employing hypocrisy, also known as false pretenses. I thought Erickson made some good points. While that may be so, his reasoning was logically invalid. Andorians are a warrior race, and as young children, we are taught the importance of sound judgment, especially the avoidance of logical errors. Mr. Erickson echoed many Azure party talking points, which exhibit several instances of hypocrisy or false pretenses. Hypocrisy consists in advocating behaviors that one does not practice or, in the case of the Azure party, denouncing the very actions that they engage in themselves. Often, hypocrisy takes the form of elaborate pretenses of uprightness in the face of actual reprehensible behavior. Lieutenant Erickson, you adhere to the Azure faction's ideas, while routinely turning a blind eye to their own faction's egregious ruining of Tangelo shrines. The Azure faction called for a crackdown on Tangelo desecration activities, and even implemented the silencing of any discussion of desecration, which served to prevent the exposure of their own sacrilege, hypocrisy in its purest form. Thank you, Commander Thalen. Of course. I should rethink what I'm trying to say. That is an excellent idea. Carry on, gentlemen. Even if an argument seems to make sense, it cannot be valid unless the form is valid, and that it does not exhibit such discredited rhetorical techniques as hypocrisy or false pretenses. It's only logical. <laughs> 